We are here with Marcus and Ted from Mumford and yes, Sons. Yes, best new artist nomination. We saw you perform at the Cl at the Clive Davis party last you night. Rocked. You rocked the house. It was, it was good fun. Was Everybody in the room was blown away by your guys' two songs. You guys did two songs, right? Yeah. You, they were blown away by them, and people who were already fans loved them. And there were some people sitting next to me who didn't even know you guys and said they were automatically fans. It was a beautiful, That's heartfelt great. performance. That's yeah, great. It was fun. It was pretty nerve-wracking, like it was. being in a room of. You know, people that you've obviously seen on TV and in magazines since you were born. Right. And, and, uh, and yeah, opening the show. But it was really fun. I think we settled into it. We played um, two songs that we like singing. And Did uh, Clive Davis give you any advice before you went on stage? No. 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 How did you guys first form as a band? It seemed, you seemed like an unusual background to become this country-inspired group. Yeah, I mean, we were all friends before we started the band. And we met just through for a mutual love of roots-based music, basically. So yeah, we were just playing loads of gigs around London. We all met each other and and started our own band, and the rest is history. I we suppose. all got fired from playing in different bands. Yeah. So we decided to make like a reject band. Mm, B team. Um, a B team band. So the B team people who are picked last in life should not feel bad. It can come around <laughs> pretty well in the end. It can come. It can come around. It's always the underdog that wins. They like to say. <laughs> well. Not well, always. Not, always. <laughs> not always. Not always. We like to think that you're a Grammy Live. How did Mumford and Sons come to be? How did you choose that name? Band names are a strange phenomenon, man. I, I, you never really think that they're going to become a brand and that they're going to become something that people know before they know your music. So we just kind of didn't t think about it too much. Is it at all inspired um, by Sanford and Sons? <laughs> That's what a lot of people ask that question, Ben. Thank um, you. I'm, and, I'm not uh, known for my original question. <laughs> We're not known for our original music, so don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, we just like the idea of it sounding a bit like a like a British family business and kind of settled on it and slightly unusual and just went with it really. We like the vibe, we like the idea that we all share the ownership of it and um, yeah, I don't know. It sounds good, it flows it's off really the tongue. Hot. It flows. Are you hot? It's pretty hot. I'm, yeah. Well, I'm, hot. I'm not wearing... I'm starting you, to perspire. This is a, in UK, I feel like this is a British thing, you wear layers. I know, but it's... Like hot layers. Layers, no, You're wearing yeah, a no. scarf. What do they the call Grammys, this? It's a cravat. Oh, yeah. what? It's a cravat. Cravats. Cravat. That shows how uh, sophisticated I am. I've never known that. I don't think I've ever heard that word before in my life. <laughs> we need to get I you a cravat, my you. man. You need to get me a thesaurus. Can, yeah. <laughs> can we quickly go back to the music lastly? Little Lion Men. Is that a true story? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did there you write? There's actually a small man who is a lion. <laughs> it's true. No, but I mean, the story, I mean, the, the, I guess the written, the, words around it lyrics. in terms of lyrics. The there lyrics. You you're looking for? Word, the word music journalist. <laughs> the word lyrics. The lyrics. Are those, but was it a true story in terms of what happened in breaking someone's heart? Uh, yeah, we base all of our songs on uh, personal experiences so so that we can sing them every night, you know, because we got to be able to believe in them to sing them, I think. Yeah. Um, you never really think when you write a song that you kind of write a song in the most private moment and then you do the most public thing you could possibly do with it, which is, is it kind of a strange... Is it hard to bring that emotion back night after night? I guess it's a little bit like digging through the shit every day, yeah, but right. um, but it's okay and we do it together and we kind of take on each other's lyrics. My favourite song to sing is called Winter Winds off our album and Winston wrote that song yeah. and that's my favourite one to sing, I think, because we kind of adopt each other's stuff. I think it's because we knew each other before we started the band, so... We find it quite easy to sort of empathize with one another when we write. That's cool. when we write, write what lyrics. are you performing tonight? We are playing a song of ours called The Cave. And then the Avett Brothers are doing a song. And then we're all doing a song with uh, a little known artist called Bob Dylan. Did you Sorry, get to Bob meet who? him yet? Bob, Bob I can't uh, remember. Dylan. Dylan. I can't remember. Uh, did you get to meet him yet? make it with that name in this business. You did? What was he like? He's I lovely. He's shy, but he's lovely. Yes. I mean, he didn't disappoint. You know when you meet your hero and it's like, your expectation, you're trying to lower your expectations. He gave me a fist pump today. Really? It was the best day of my life. Nice. Well, we're so excited to hear you guys. I'm going to fist bump the Bob yes, Dylan fist, fist bump fist. fist. I, did this. I did this. Oh, you did? <laughs> oh, you captured it, sure. I did the uh, gear stick. You wanted to save the moment. <laughs> the gear stick, the gear stick. very it. nice. It was intimate. I don't know how to drive sticks, that's my problem. <laughs> Mumford best and of luck sons. tonight, guys. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, so much, nice guys. to see you again. Hope to see you later at the party. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Very well dressed.